Jaws. No look. And then Sims kicks out left wing. And on the way, Tevin Mack. Alford on the drive. And the Bulldogs still without any points here. Three and a half minutes in. Sims, the crossover. We saw him score like that the other day against Detroit Mercy. Newman tried to get it inside. Ball was deflected, but Mack to Sims. John uh, Newman the third has got to learn uh, there's passing lanes out there. We're, we're throwing the ball by people, through people. Handful of games the Tigers have played. Mack leads the way at 41%. Long inbound try. There's Scott to come away with the steal. Another one for Curran, his second as a Tiger. And just like that, Tyson. Double figure scoring and uh, doing a great job. And again, the scoring at times, they really haven't needed the scoring. That guy is one reason because Hunter Tyson. Mack now with five points. Alamir Dawes on those two made threes. Leads the Tigers with six. Mack. Stroking the three. Four minute, 19 second scoring drought for the Bulldogs. Tigers have opened this up. Nice job getting it inside. And Jemison able to finish on the feed from Curran Scott. Alabama continue to grow in this Clemson program. Fade away that time. No by Moore. Jemison, Hill for Mack rather. And Mack will get the roll. You're going to count it? They will, says Roger Ayers. Moore. Perimeter dog, so oh, changes hands in the air and he'll head to the line. More around a Jemison screen. Thought about the dish and Mac coming in. Oh, he would have loved the Thunder Jam, but pushes it up and in. They needed to make threes. Now the timeout. Feet inside. Jemison reaching double figures and the basket still rocking. 87 to 51 against Alabama A&M for Brad Brownell. He is now just four shy of Cliff Ellis's all-time wins record at Clemson.